Hello and welcome to episode 13 of my EverQuest 2 tutorial Let's Play series. This episode will be on us doing the level 50 ob uh, Gathering Obsession quest. So as you could see right at the beginning of this series I started off with the Gathering Obsession um, for zone 0 to 9. It's now on the zone 50. So I thought as well as doing the at least one of the gathering obsession lines of the quest so you can see it done we'll also have a look at the level 50 zone that we're going to go to so if I click on the voyage now we're going to go to the sinking sands which as you can see is levels 50 to 60 that is where I can get the components to my gathering obsession quest I've also got the level 50 because remember every 10 levels you get a new trade skill quest and it's also taking me there for that so I'll be able to show you both so let's go to the sinking sands <clears throat> excuse me okay the sinking sands is a desert zone and completely different to all the other zones which makes it fun for exploring it's also the land of flying carpets so what I'll do is I'll grab all of the quests that I can see here and also do the gathering obsession. Level wise I've managed to get myself to level 53 Kundra and 53 Taylor. So once I've gathered up loads of materials I'll be able to make myself 28 slot bags. So that will also be very cool. Okay let's grab some quests and start harvesting. Well met. Okay, so it's fine that it's green. It leaves me in nice and easily. Okay, all right, he's done enough talking. Let's move on. These quests down here are factional, which is either this faction or that faction. But what I'll do is I'll just grab them all. As you could see there, I was a bit quick, but well, let's bring the quest up to show you. Down here you can see the different factions that you're going to get. You're going to get the Court of the Blades, but you're going to lose faction with the Court of Truth and the Court of Coin. Now, if we go over here and get these quests... That one didn't look like it was like the others, but let's grab this one. Here you go, so this one will give me... So by doing all the quests, I'll be equaling out the faction. And this should be the third one. And there you go. So that's the three different factions. So basically I'll get 2,500 in each. And there we go. Right, let's now see if I can find a few more quests. Some collectibles and a serious amount of gathering. I've got 96 collections now, so they're still going strong. I don't even know, but there must be loads and loads of collections. Okay, let's gather up some stuff. The only thing I'm trying to remember is when I get to level 60 what the next zone is that I should go to so I'm going to have to look into that further because looking at the um, map of Naroth I can't see uh, a 60 to 70 I can see a 65 to 75 zone but not a level 60 to 70 zone and there must be one I've just had too long a break so I'm going to need to try and remember where it is I need to go after this zone.
And there's some more quests over here by the looks of it. We travel crap. Nice easy green green quests. Is that all? Oh no, there's another quest over here. Mm, so that's some crocodiles I need to kill. Oh, another quest here. Oh no, this is a part of one of them that I'm doing. Just to show you a map of the zone, you can see this is another big zone as well. It's got oases dotted all around and a vast sandy desert. So, be fun exploring it, or at least showing you about the zone so you know what to expect. Now I think there's a named down there somewhere. And there he is, that ghost, big ghost coming towards me. But fortunately he's green. Oh, I didn't really want to attack these. Probably got bad faction, but never mind. It was the crocodile that I wanted. Let's take care of this one before he attacks me anyway. Oh, press chest. Now let's see, was that a quest? No. Oh, my bag's so jumbled, I can't even see whether it was a quest item or not. I think it was this which I just got. Crest of Devious Viz Visage. So, if I actually click on it, it'll show me... Yes, it was that. Oh, well, it was just an item. Oh, another chest. And I won't bother with the reptile meat. I've got plenty of money. Right, let's get these crocodiles. Done the crocodiles, but that one's still giving me a quest icon. So there must be more than one quest to do with the crocodiles. One of the things I love about being an erudite, of course, is with my um, breathing underwater, which is this experimental air pocket. all of them. Oh, 
and I've got to find this trade liaison somewhere but it's a huge zone so it could be anywhere I'll just keep exploring the whole zone till I find him or her Oh, some more crocodiles. I also find uh, it's when you're on the leaping mount, when you jump up and down, do you see how it shows you all the quest icons appearing quickly, briefly? I find that's a handy way to find your quests. Feeling that to fish up some fish for this uh, gathering obsession. Notice as well, I've got a new pet, a, a higher level urban avatar, which is now like uh, this ball, if you like. I think that's what it is. Oops, what am I doing? see a crocodile here. Maybe not. Oh yeah, there he is. Trying to swim off. So, one more of them to get. Right, that's that quest done. Now, what's that telling you there? Ah. Let's go speak to this Jazza. somewhere to obviously do that. I'll find it no doubt in my travels. Let's carry on doing this gathering obsession. It'd be nice to show you the reward eventually that you get at the end of doing this quest line for the Gathering Obsession. I can't remember how high it goes though. I think it's up to 80 or 90. Okay, that's the wood done.
Okay, if we wander this way, we should. Oh, there's a quest that's been done there. Let's hand that in. Grab another quest off of him while we're here. And head this way down the beach. Oasis of Mar. There's another quest over here we can get. Gathering obsession is slowly getting smaller. That's prickly pears done. Oh, and here's another quest handed. Greetings, traveler. I'm gonna make a tent somehow. Oh well, I'll have to do that when I get near Trade Skill area. For now, let's just carry on and roam around the zone and gather up what I can resource wise. Finish the gathering obsession. Oh, there's a quest marker. The artichoke's done. I don't bother with meats or junk items anymore. I've got plenty of money now, basically. Okay, let's go to the quest location that's located there which is this way here we go what next oh so got to find this guy now wherever is he out oh, here All the quests are green, which is why I stayed in Everfrost a bit longer. This can be a tough zone when we get onto the desert. Okay, let's head back to the docks. and update this quest. Well, so, I think I clicked the wrong one. quest this is. This one come here. I need to return Callum at the docks and let him know that Fusi is dead. Well, where does it let me know Fusi is dead? Um. 
you know what? I'm going to leave that for now. I'll do that off camera because I've got to go through a whole load of text to get to find out which one. So ignoring that, let's carry on. Ah, oh, here's a quest mob. So let's carry on killing these. nice thing about having a merc and a pet is if something attacks me I can just carry on harvesting while they deal with it which I think is pretty cool right it doesn't look like I need these for my tra gathering obsession so I'll ignore them Mobs. Let's go and show you one of the oasis. some more that I need to kill. See how much damage my range does. This totally annihilates the mobs. Admittedly they are green so they're not going to be particularly tough but You'll see they, the uh, range deals with blue mobs and white mobs just as effectively as I'll show you with this one. Yeah, it shoots the arrows and the health just goes one. Ah, here we go. Let's see if we can get some more of what we need for this which is, in fact, I don't need any more of the strawberry, so that's fine. What I need is some leather pelts, fishing, and from the leather pelts as well. Oh, that's handy, the quest mob come to me. So I'm looking for the leather. grab the collection. This episode's just about really showing you a bit of the world rather than rushing through a zone. Cool, I'm going to be at a hundred collections soon. Shows you there are tons. Oh, I need to go into the caves, the crocodile caves. I won't worry about that. I just want to do the gathering obsession. So I think a good place to gather is if we go right over here to one of the big oasises. Which is somewhere over here if I remember correctly. Yeah, there we are. The 
twin tiers. Let's see, what's the strength of these? Oh, they're weak. No quests though. No, I won't bother with this. Let's go back and do some fishing. Ah, here's what we need. The beast den. I think that's where I can get two of the meats and the pelts from. Yep, there's the sabre tooth. I think the start where the dock is is a good place, the best place to really forage. Ah, there's one. Here's a giant. Let's fight a giant. Our first giant. That I've shown you that as I have been fighting lots of giants, but you haven't seen them. What's he doing out in the middle of a desert? A bit strange. You can see it's a lovely zone though to adventure in. I always have a lot of fun in the sinking sands. A lot of mummies here. Still finding collections. Ah, oh, there's a quest mob. Two more spiders, and there they are. Or maybe not, didn't have a quest item. Right, there's the 30 minute timeout. Well, I shall carry on harvesting. I did wonder whether I'd be able to make it or not. Obviously not. I won't drag this on any longer though. I shall carry on doing the harvesting and try and complete the rest of these quests. Wherever you are in the world, God bless you and keep every last one of you safe. Thank you for watching and have a fantastic day. I hope you've enjoyed a little bit of the sinking sands with me. Uh, for when you get to level 50. Goodbye.